、书法剑术，都靠手腕之力与胸中之气。这第二十种。A bright protege from early on in his martial arts career, Jet Li has appeared in a variety of critically acclaimed movies. Having studied the art of wushu at the academy in Beijing, China, from the age of eight. And earning his first of five gold medals in national wushu tournaments when only 11, it's no surprise he's reached the status that he has. In today's list, we're going through our top 10 Jet Li movies of all time. You need a scapegoat to prevent our country's going to war. Number 10, The Forbidden Kingdom. Jason Terpatikas is a massive fan of martial arts films. He heads into Chinatown for more movies, where he finds a strange golden staff that whisks him away to an ancient Chinese village. The village is under attack by armed soldiers, but Jason is saved by a drunken traveling scholar named Lu Yan, who tells him of the story of the Monkey King fighting the Jade Warlord and how the king was turned to stone. You must develop speed, accuracy, and power. The Forbidden Kingdom is notable as it co-stars both Jet Li as the Monkey King himself and Jackie Chan as Liu Yan. The film is based on characters from the classic novel Journey to the West. However, while it involves the Monkey King, Sun Wukong, the movie's plotline bears no resemblance to the famous book. The film's screenwriter John Fusco also took Jason Terpatikas from the Wandering Monk character Tripitaka from the novel. It received moderate critical reception and grossed $128 million against a $55 million budget. Do the stuff for the warlord. No fool. I'm on a mission to find the secret of the stuff. Number nine, the warlords. Set in the 1860s during the Taiping Rebellion of China in the late Qing Dynasty, the warlords is the story of a brotherhood of three men. Jet Li plays the role of loyalist General Pang Qingyun, and due to the distrust between him and Er Hu and Wu Yang, they resolve to form a blood oath. 好像一切都是天公地道的。从那天起，我就发誓，如果我做主。The oath states that the three men will take care of each other like brothers under the pain of death. The Blood Oath Brothers begin ambitious campaigns amidst the government's interference that is worried about his rising influence. The story is based on the 1870 assassination of Governor Ma Xinyi and focuses on the battle between the loyalist and rebel factions. Director Peter Chan was open about the film's influences stemming from the 1973 film The Blood Brothers, and to avoid the warlords being viewed as a remake, he changed the film's title from also being The Blood Brothers. Number eight, Unleashed. Danny the dog. Played by Jet Li, is a young man with the mentality of a child who has been trained as an attack dog by a vicious loan shark, Bart. Once Bart removes the metal collar from around Danny's neck, he will stop at nothing to take down a target with skilled ferocity. However, with the collar on, Danny is harmless and socially inept, and is constantly bullied by Bart. After a prize-fighting ring incident, Danny runs to an antique warehouse for shelter, where he's found by a kind, blind pianist named Sam, who takes him to live with him and his stepdaughter. She kissed me. Yeah, I know she does that. I wasn't. Nice. What? Nice. Titled initially Danny the Dog for its French distribution, Roger Ebert praised the film for its ingenious construction and for the quality martial arts action that any fan of Jet Li could desire. Unleashed received moderate critical reception with a 66% on Rotten Tomatoes and a consensus that it's Jet Li's best English language film. It grossed 50.9 million dollars worldwide, surpassing Rogue Picture's expectations. This is my mother. You knew my mother. Number seven, the legend, Feng Saiyuk, played by Jet Li, falls in love after meeting the beautiful Lui Tingting, daughter of local ruffian Tiger Lui. Lui sets up a martial arts competition with his daughter as the prize and his wife Xiu Wan as the opponent to defeat. A complex entanglement of politics and family members disguised as the opposite sex eventually led to Fong and Ting Ting marrying and discovering each other's true identities. <laughs> Further complicating matters is Fong's father, a member of the secret anti-establishment group known as the Red Flower Society. The film was based on Chinese folk hero Feng Saiyuk and won multiple awards, including the Golden Horse Award for Best Action Choreography, Best Editing, and was nominated for Best Actress. The film was praised for its beautiful choreography and refreshing change in roles for female characters. It was given primarily positive reviews and earned a strong thirty million six hundred and sixty-six thousand eight hundred and forty-two dollars at the Hong Kong box office. 
，停止一再，呢只船过咗背水滩，啲官兵就捉唔到你哋。Number six, once upon a time in China. It is the late 19th century in Foshan, China, during the Qing Dynasty. Wang Feihong, played by Jet Li, is a martial arts instructor and a traditional Chinese medicine clinic owner. Wang meets and falls in love with the daughter of his grandfather's sworn brother, and discovers and must aid in rescuing women who have been captured to be sold as prostitutes bound for the West. The first installment in the Once Upon a Time in China film series, the film was nominated for eight awards at the 11th Hong Kong Film Awards and won four, including Best Original Film Score and Best Director. It has overwhelmingly positive reviews, with an 88% on Rotten Tomatoes, and was a box office hit, grossing $30 million in Hong Kong. Number five, Tai Chi Master. Zhang Junbao, played by Jet Li, and Tian Bo are two Shaolin monks expelled from their temple after being falsely accused of cheating. After setting out on two markedly different paths to grow in their own ways, they're reunited. Still, Tian Bo nearly kills Jun Bao in combat, and Zhang must discover and develop a new martial arts style, dubbed Tai Chi, which focuses on soft flowing movements in place of raw power and speed. Tai Chi Master received a strong critical and audience reception, with a 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb and an 86% fresh on the tomato meter. It earned a gross of $12.56 million at the Hong Kong box office, but underperformed in the U.S. with only $1.63 million. Despite this, it is among the stronger critical performers amongst Jet Li's acted and produced films. Number 4, Once Upon a Time in China 2. Cantonese folk hero Wang Fei Hong travels to Canton from Foshan to attend a seminar on medicine with his romantic interest Yi Su Quan and apprentice Liang Fun. They arrive in Canton embroiled in chaos between protests in the streets over the Treaty of Shimonoseki and a xenophobic cult known as the White Lotus Sect who attacks all Westerners and destroys anything considered to be foreign to Chinese culture. <sighs> Wang and Leung must dodge government officials, rescue a captured Siu Quan, and infiltrate the fanatical cult hell-bent on attacking the Europeans. A typical of Hong Kong film sequels, Once Upon a Time in China 2 out-earned its predecessor with a Hong Kong box office gross of $30,399,676. It also outperformed the previous film critically and holds a 93% fresh rating on the Rotten Tomatoes tomato meter. Jet Li's role reprisal earned him a Best Actor nomination at the 29th Golden Horse Film Festival. Number 3, Fist of Legend. In Fist of Legend, Jet Li stars as a Chinese martial arts student named Chen Zhen studying abroad in Kyoto, Japan in the late 1930s. Upon learning that his master has died in a match against Richie Aktugawa, he returns to his home of Japanese-occupied Shanghai. Chen Zhen challenges and swiftly defeats Aktugawa, which leads him to believe that his master had been set up. Jing Wu was my family. Without them, it's almost like starting over. Do you think you can? News of Chen's skills spreads and causes new students to desire to study under him. This makes his master's son jealous and stokes tension. Fist of Legend boasts one of the highest critical receptions in martial arts film history. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a perfect 100% fresh on their tomato meter, and the audience score sits at a glowing 92%. However, the Hong Kong film industry's downturn period resulted in a disappointing box office performance of under $15 million. It's about the energy, about focusing on a single point in time. Number 2. Fearless Inspired by the life of Chinese martial artist Huo Yuan Jia, who challenged foreign fighters from all over the world in high-profile events in order to restore pride to China during a period of Western imperialism and Japanese manipulation. Fearless takes place after a tragedy causes Huo, played by Jet Li, to retreat to a remote village to regain perspective on life, and he begins his duels to the death defending his country's honor in the waning years of the Qing Dynasty before the birth of the Republic of China. <laughs> Fearless was marketed, as Jet Li had said in interviews leading up to its release, 
as Lee's last Wushu martial arts epic. It was nominated for 10 awards and won three, including Best Action Choreography at the 26th Hong Kong Film Awards and both the Best Actor and Film of Merit Awards from the 13th Hong Kong Film Critics Society. Fearless grossed over $68 million worldwide and holds a respectable 73% tomato meter and 86% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. This is the Our number one pick is Hero. Based on the story of Jing Ke's assassination attempt on the King of Qin in 227 BC, an unnamed warrior, nameless, played by Jet Li, is being honored by the king for having defeated three of his most dangerous enemy assassins. However, while Nameless is regaling the ruler with his accounts of the battles, the king becomes suspicious of the details. He begins challenging the warrior's tales by interjecting his own perceived take on the events. Hero managed to be the most expensive film project coming out of Hong Kong at the time, as well as one of the highest grossing. It grossed $177 million worldwide and became the first Chinese language film to hold the number one spot at the American box office and remained there for two consecutive weeks. Hero was rated at 7.9 on a scale of 10 on IMDb.com and is considered to be the best Jet Li movie ever made. Do you agree with our list? Be sure to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.